Baykar, a globally recognized Turkish drone manufacturer signed a joint venture agreement with Indonesia's defense company Republicorp to establish a state-of-the-art unmanned aerial vehicle manufacturing facility in Indonesia. This agreement, signed during Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's official visit to Indonesia, marks a significant milestone in the growing defense cooperation between the two nations. This joint venture is part of a broader effort to enhance Indonesia's defense industry and technological capabilities. The agreement includes the co-production of two of Baykar's most advanced drones, the Baraktor TB3 and the Akinsi. These unmanned aerial vehicles will be manufactured locally, ensuring technology transfer and strengthening Indonesia's defense manufacturing sector. In addition, Baykar will export these drones to Indonesia, further solidifying the country's position as a key player in Southeast Asia's drone industry. The deal is one of several agreements signed between Turkey and Indonesia during Erdogan's visit, highlighting their commitment to strengthening bilateral relations, particularly in the defense sector. In recent years, Indonesia has shown a growing interest in Turkish defense products. In 2023, the Indonesian government purchased 12 Turkish drones worth approximately $300 million as part of its military modernization program. The Bayraktar TB3 is an advanced unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Baykar. Designed for naval operations, the TB3 features foldable wings, allowing it to operate from short runway vessels such as aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. This capability makes it particularly valuable for Indonesia, an archipelagic nation with extensive maritime security needs. The TB3 can carry a payload of up to 280 kilograms, including smart munitions and surveillance equipment. With an endurance of up to 24 hours and a satellite communications system, it is capable of conducting long-range reconnaissance, target acquisition, and strike missions. Notably, the TB3 recently made history by becoming the first unmanned combat aerial vehicle to successfully take off and land on a short deck vessel, demonstrating its potential for naval warfare. The establishment of an unmanned aerial vehicle manufacturing facility in Indonesia represents a strategic move for both nations. For Indonesia, it means access to cutting-edge drone technology and reduced dependency on foreign imports. For Turkey, it strengthens its position as a leading global drone exporter and expands its influence in Southeast Asia's defense market. As Indonesia continues to modernize its armed forces, partnerships like this will be crucial in enhancing its defense capabilities. The collaboration between Baykar and Republicorp is not just a business agreement but a step toward greater defense autonomy for Indonesia and stronger bilateral ties with Turkey.